Alright, thanks for staying with me, um, anarchist programmer at omnimaga.org. Um, well, unfortunately, I got uh, my last tutorial cut off, so I'm going to start out with everything that I had to cut out. Um, you're going to learn a new function, which will be useful for everything that you want to be doing if you want uh, people to be pressing buttons and the calculator to respond to that. Um, over in input, uh, output, there's get key. As I've explained before, um, it, uh, well, get key goes in, uh, will store uh, information into the answer variable, which I have explained earlier, and uh, each button has its own corresponding number. Um, it's based off of uh, a row and column system. First row, second row, third row, etc. Each row is labeled by the number that they are, and each column is labeled by their number, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. To find out what the button's um, uh, identifier number is, you first take the number in uh, of their row. For example, if we're looking for the mode, its row is number 2 and uh, its column is number 2. So we put those numbers together and that will be 2 and 2, which is 22. So mode's identifier number is 22. Um, it's it's kind of difficult to have to remember that. The buttons that are special are the arrow keys and I'll explain uh, exactly what those are in just a little bit. But um, as for get key, the moment that the uh, calculator goes by that line of code, if there's a button pressed, it will um, store the uh, that button's identifier number into answer, and um, you can do things with it from there. Um, for example, we'll have a repeat, and we'll repeat until there is an answer. Uh, and so we shall go to uh, the get key and we will end. Now this program will uh, pretty much start and it will keep going doing nothing until uh, you press a button. Once you do it finishes the program. Now uh, in case you want to see what that button was um, there's two ways you can do it. Uh, you can have it display answer right afterwards, which will look like this. Or, um, a more efficient way to test out several is we'll have it repeat uh, uh, endlessly as we did before. Next, we'll make an if an uh, answer is greater than zero and the reason we do this is because every moment that the uh, program goes over get key and you haven't pressed the button it uh, it will uh, put zero into the answer and if we don't uh, do it this way then um, whenever we display the answer like we're going to uh, I forgot the then Yeah, whenever we display the answer like we're going to, um, it will display zeros constantly until you hit another button, which will display that number and continue displaying zeros, which could be a little annoying. So now we'll have it to where any time that the number is above zero, it will display the answer. All right. Now, um, one thing to take note of here is. Uh, that the if that the ends um, uh, will end the last thing that uh, ha that will requires an end. For example, this if then statement was the last thing that would require an end to stop it. So the first end corresponds to it, and then the second end will correspond to the repeat. So all right, kind of hard to fully explain, but that's how it works. So running this program, now we can see what each and every button is. 873, that's 72, 71, and etc. Every button except the on button has a number. Um, the on button will break the program like normal, 
and uh, I'll have to hit that in just a little bit since it's repeating forever. Um, to cover the arrows, um, they're really weird and there's really no way to remember it. I will to as a shortcut, you kind of just have to remember what it is. And it's left is 24, up is 25, right is 26, and down is 34. Um, yeah, confusing, but there's nothing you can do but remember it. Alright, so now we'll uh, break out of that program. And uh, from here, we, well, you know, I'm not too sure. Give me a moment to clear out everything here. Alright. I guess the next best thing to do is finally get into um, menus and labels and go to. Well, label and go to at least. I think I'll have to cover menus in the next one looking at the time. Alright. A label will mark a spot in your program. Assuming you have a large amount of code somewhere, um, you're going to want to uh, have it your, uh, have checkpoints for you to be able to go to. So for example, um, well, we can name a label any two uh, numbers or letters. Uh, so A1, or even you can just use 1, so this is, will be label 1. And from uh, now on, we can use the uh, go to to go to that uh, label at any time. Um, so for example, just to uh, test out how it works exactly, um, here we have uh, label 1. Uh, under label 1, it will display, um, let's say, hi, like no, uh, that little generic thing that we normally do. Now, um, we can have a uh, go to, which is zero, you just scroll down there, I'm using a shortcut, and we'll go to, say, label three. Next, we'll create uh, label two, and here, it will display um, by and um, now we will uh, have another go to uh, once again just for example purposes this time we'll go to zero um, actually yeah, we'll go to zero. Have one last label. This will be uh, label three, which we were going to at the beginning. Um, and this one will display uh, the words, how are you? All right. And this last part will go to label 2 and finally we'll have our label 0 which will do uh, pretty much do nothing but uh, our, but uh, yeah basically now here's how the program will work it starts out at label 1 which will display high then it'll skip to level 3 which is down here from here it'll display how are you and then go to label 2 which is above, which and uh, then it'll display by and go to label zero, which is at the very bottom and uh, has nothing there, so it's going to end the program. So running it, it says hi, how are you, and then bye. And I just noticed I misspelled you, but uh, yeah, trying to rush through this. Um, but yeah, so basically you see how labels and go to works. Uh, you can use it in several other ways. This is just an example to show you uh, exactly how um, it processes where it's going and how you can use it to skip certain parts of code and uh, go up or down the code however you like.